All right. I know you all were like, wait, wait, wait. Didn't we? Aren't we done with her? Aren't we over the smart, the short little Mexican? Yeah. All right. Listen up, ladies. That's what I call a woman in power. No, no, I just have to say that really, Rita, you, you totally outdid yourself. I'm just going to kind of, you know, I've run into a couple of Barnard women who are my sisters. Um, I'm, I'm going to call out a, a, few, a few peeps here because it really is an amazing event that Rita puts together every year. So we got the amazing June Cross filmmaker par excellence. We got the amazing, and I know y'all don't even know she's here, but I'm going to call her out, Ms. Dora Schriero, who is the commissioner of, hello, the Department of Corrections of the city of New York. She's one inch taller than me. That's it. Uh, Marie Wilson, moving on from the White House Project, fascinating news. Pat Mitchell. Uh, Swanee, I don't know where you are. I got to come give you a hug. Okay, but seriously, no, 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 no. Mariska Hargitay just gave me a hug. Hello. I mean, really, she, what cool people. And she's like six foot five, so that's a big difference. It's all about all of us. Every single one of us is eating our fear. Eating our fear of moving forward. And that's what Patricia Galloway did. When she, you know, was in school and somebody said, oh, you want to be an engineer? No, 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 I don't think you can do that. Oh, yeah? Well, she earned three engineering degrees and was elected president of the American Society of Civil Engineers, the first woman to hold that position. So, <laughs> Patricia came all the way from another planet, well, the West Coast, to join us, and she says she's all about empowering women to believe that they can be scientists and engineers and own all that math power. Take it away, Patricia. Thank you very much. I just want to thank Rita and eWomen News for, for doing this because, you know, it is just so spectacular, and I'm humbled to be here with all these wonderful leaders, but I have to tell you that I'm humbled to be here as recognized as a leader for something that I have a passion of doing and a passion for getting young girls interested in something that we take for granted. Engineering that we could not live without every single day of our lives. But being a leader is something that I tell these girls that they don't do as an island and they don't do as silos. A leader requires you to be a leader by having people around you that you inspire to be trust who are better than you and then you can take advice from. And I would not be here today if it wasn't for having those people around me. The first person that gave me the belief that I could be anything that I wanted to be and who told me don't let anyone tell you you can't do something and don't let anyone tell you no is my mom who's with me tonight. <laughs> But the second thing, the second thing is that professor that came to me at my high school when I was a junior and looked at me as a, I was a dancer and I was in drama club and I was in the debate team and all those wonderful liberal arts things and he looked at me and he said, you as a young lady, we need you in engineering and we need you with your artsy and your image to convince other young girls that they also don't have to be intimidated by men and they don't have to be intimidated to go into a career that will help people. And the third person is my husband who is the wing, wind beneath my wings and could not be here tonight, but he absolutely is everything that made me. And third is your universities. You know, we couldn't be here without our universities. And my schools and especially NYIT who is here tonight as well, I, I wouldn't be here without them. And lastly, is the people that you choose to be your friends. And my very best friend is here tonight as well. And she has stuck with me through thick and thin and gone everywhere with me to be here. And these are what makes true leaders. And thank you very much for this wonderful award. <laughs>